qualifying time in the semifinals. Put up quite a challenge for Kristen Fatalski. Being here at UVic my first year was the Olympic trial year, and so my workouts were, um, training was really, really tough. Uh, the coaching staff were really tough on me, and um, that was the start of sort of opening the doors to what um, a high-level athlete does. The biggest influence that I had here at UVic uh, with respect to my swim career was, would be the coaching. Um, I wouldn't have accomplished what I did accomplish without Peter. She's one of the most successful CIS athletes that we've ever had. If you had to describe her, you'd say she's loyal, determined, persistent, and talented. Probably she's one of the kids that, in my coaching career, was the most, most willing and most interested in making technical changes uh, that would try to advance her or, or even just experiment with things. Swimming, I don't know how many laps in this pool you know, <laughs> for four, five, ten years um, definitely got me to the Olympics and it was hard work in this pool. From when she started swimming in 1995 at a higher level and she retired from swimming in 2007, she'd been on the national team for those 11 years. And so that's a huge accomplishment and you make sacrifices over that amount of time at that period in your life and it's something that has to be recognized and commended. Being recognized in the UVic Sports Hall of Fame is a huge honor. So to be among uh, that group of diverse people, um, I, yes, I'm very honored to be part of that.